Hello everyone, welcome to the part 2 of Momoka Gaku Show Chemistry 2016. So in part 2, there are only two questions. Let's just dive into it. They say that when ammonia is dissolved in water, the reaction occurs as below. So you see that there are ammonia, water, will result into, what is this, ammonium acid maybe? Or an hydrox, uh, hydroxy ion. Okay, so you see here, they say so they say that we have to determine ammonia works as what and water does as what. So at first it tries to trick you, but it is actually a very simple, simple topic. Okay, so you can see that ammonia turn into ammonium ion. Remember the uh, I mean look here that the H actually increased to four, so it is like accepting H, right? And the water turn into hydroxide ion, the H is decreased from 2 to 1. So it is actually release the hydrogen. And remember, the principle of you know the elements that accept hydrogen, it is called the base. And elements, I mean compounds that release hydrogen is acid. Therefore, ammonia works as base and water works as acid okay now for number two is this that in titrating one molar of aqueous uh, acetic acid with one molar of aqueous uh, sodium hydroxide the ph value of the solution will become what then seven so i think it's a comparison i mean to compare uh, at the equivalent point and the appropriate pH indicator so uh, for this titration so the second question asks uh, if we want to find the pH when the acetic acid and the sodium hydroxide is mixed what is the correct indicator I mean what is the correct indicator so that we can measure the pH the acidity value Right, so as I have said in number one, that if you have weak acid, which is acetic acid, and you add it with strong base, which is sodium hydroxide, remember that this is the alkali metal from 1A. Remember that if you have alkali metal or ground alkali metal of 1A and 2A, and you add it with hydroxide ion, it will become strong base. And remember, if you have weak acid, strong base it will always result into weak base okay now weak base is slightly greater than 7 right because 7 is neutral in pH value so therefore the solution becomes greater than 7 so the answer is solution greater than 7 in equivalent point now what it means to have equivalent point this has to do with the titration curve let's say you want to test first with ca3coh this is weak acid therefore let's say this is seven and your acetic acid start at this ph you know just slightly below seven and you want to uh, add it with naoh so strong base let's say it, it has you know something up here okay when you add it the curve will move this way okay so this is the equivalent point I mean the point where the pH value drastically changes and this equivalent point proved to be 8 or 9 the pH value therefore the solution becomes greater than 7 in equivalent point okay now if you have weak acid and strong base, the appropriate pH indicator for this titration is phenolphthalein. So literally, you write phenolphthalein in the answer. And if you wonder, what if other cases? Okay. Now, if you have strong base and weak acid, it's just the reverse of it. You still have phenolphthalein as the uh, appropriate pH indicator. If you have weak base now instead of weak acid, 
and you add, I mean you mix with strong, uh, strong acid, it will actually the accurate, I mean the appropriate pH indicator is red methyl. Okay, so that is for part two, and yep, stay tuned for other solution videos.